Hi, this is Lisa from Low Cooking Robert's Den. Welcome to my channel. Hoping you enjoy all the videos so far. Today's uh, video is going to show you a quick review of the um, six brand new slim line car size background stand. So this is slim line um, car is pretty popular at this moment but like I say you don't have to make a slim line car if you don't like it so in this uh, video I'm actually going to show you both way the slim line car and the, also the A2 size car just try to have fun and uh, all um we're going to use a magic mushroom and then in this video I'm going to show you each car the coloring probably only take a maximum 30 seconds and uh, a little bit um review of the um, special car stock so you can take a look at the tutorial 138 in the tutorial 138 i was explaining 10 different kind of car stock uh, which one is good for which so in today's video i am actually going to use at least the uh, costco kirkland photo paper is actually pretty cheap and uh, the the, the finish is super glossy. Okay, you can use the least super glossy photo paper to use your markers. The color is acceptable, but compared with the old Quanko paper, it's still, still a little bit lighter, but it does the job. The only thing different between um, uh, when you use this uh, Kirkland photo paper, one thing you got to be a little bit careful, um, try to not uh, blending too much. If you can finish it like a two stroke or three stroke, try to finish it as last as a stroke uh, you can, because I found out if you keep blending, working on top, um, they will start to create some kind of like a crumbling on surface so just beware with that but if you want to do something simple if you want to use like a, a blair or the magic mushroom to color the background and i think that um this is the cheapest paper that you can find on the market and they give you that kind of finish that you are looking for so and also check the tutorial 139 and 139 i was using all the background stand with a stencil with our magic marshal and uh, I have uh, put a special combo set for these six brand new background stand with our magic marshal make sure you check uh, our 2020 new release to find the best deal for you so we are uh, we're doing a pre-order until the end of October you still have a time and I'm trying to working on all the sample card to help you to decide which one you're going to purchase and uh, which one is the your favorite set so stay tuned and uh, more video coming soon Okay, so one thing I can guarantee is when you see the package, this uh, nice printing um, picture, I can guarantee you that when you stamped it, your artwork is going to look exactly like this. A lot of uh, um, product on the market, they try to use a Photoshop um, graphic design to make uh, the pictures uh, so attractive, but uh, some of them, it cannot be done by the stamping. It's uh, just uh, did with the computer. So, but uh, local kids product, uh, um, uh, so as long as you can see the finish is like this, and uh, I am going to compare with you the final project is going to look exactly like this too. So that's a started and uh, I have mentioned that we are going to use uh, Kirkland, the um, state, um, Costco's uh, photo paper, okay, and I already pre trimmed me some of the, some of the slim line car size. So I have uh, used uh, Three background already. Remember from my last uh, tutorial, this uh, the double Z, the double Z car that the back that was uh, our stretch. So it's a uh, uh, one of the background, and uh, with this background, I have a lot of uh, different tutorial coming soon to show you uh, the different finish, and uh, this one, the space. Okay, so that's what the space look like. And then when you see the printing, it was something look like this. And then when I change the color, that looks like this. And then yesterday's uh, video, it was with this rope. And I tried to create this uh, quilt 
texture finish without using the embossing folder. So if you haven't got a chance to take a look and just make sure you check it out. And then remember, I'm still doing the swap. So swap with me, send me a card and I will send one card back to you. And uh, you might get uh, one of the cards that I just created in this tutorial. Okay, so I am going to use a stay down and uh, I am actually going to recommend you something for cleaning. Okay, so stays on and make sure you have a reinker and uh, um, make sure your stays on is nice and juicy. I am going to just use this rope. Okay, we're gonna just stamp few. I'm going to just use this rope because it need the time to dry. Okay, so I'm gonna use the stays on and uh, I love stays on. You have some kind of smell. It's just it smells so good. Okay. Um, in my video, I've been mentioned that if you have stamp positioner, use a stamp positioner. If you don't have it, you can use the your die machine, the cutting plate, and try to find out the plate that has last uh, cutting mark. And uh, but most of the time, I don't really um, bother to use the uh, um, acrylic block or the stamp positioner. So I just use my stays on. And I just re-ink my stays on, make sure my stays on is uh, nice and uh, juicy. And for the regular car style, you probably is a good idea to use a uh, stamp positioner because a regular car style, you kind of have to stamp like a two time to be able to get uh, like a solid image. But uh, on the Costco's uh, photo, car, uh, photo, photo paper, it's okay because the finish is very smooth. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just uh, put uh, my top, uh, my car on top. Do your best, right? And then grab a piece of paper, and you kind of just rub the back. Make sure you rubbing everywhere, okay? So that's how I stamping most of my background stand. Instead of like a stamping it, I actually put my car stuff and uh, on top of the stamp and then kind of just rubbing it and let's see what's it look like okay so it's uh, kind of sticky but Ta -da! that's what's it look like okay and then just make sure you're going to um, wait until this is completely dry before you move to the next step okay so Every time after you stamped it, you got to re-ink, uh, you got to re-ink your stamp. And then I am actually going to clean my stamp because it stays on, it does deposit on your rubber stamp. And then what do you use for clean your stamp? So I have this stamp, uh, stamp uh, stays on cleaner, but I don't really think it does a good job. Have you seen this ultra cleaner? This is the best uh, cleaner for the permanent um, ink, okay? Even though like uh, you didn't clean your stamp right away, you leave there for like a few days and then it's very stained. So this is what I do. I just uh, kind of spray a little bit and just use a wet cloth. And then you can actually remove all the stays on. So I think uh, that's, uh, uh, this is uh, my favorite permanent in impact cleaner. So just clean like these and see how clean it is. So this is called the Ultra Cleaner and who is making this? Uh, who is this? Uh, I will put uh, their link. I think you can find from Amazon. Um, they are not paying me money to promote their stuff. I just do it. I only promote local kings, local kings product. I just found out this is a good product that I enjoy a lot. Okay, so and then I'm going to do one more. We are going to do the um, these uh, leaves van, uh, vans. Okay, and then same thing. Make sure your stays on is nice and juicy. Rubbing is the best way to ink your stamp. So. And then re-ink your ink pack once in a while. Once when you're rubbing everywhere, give it a little bit tapping. Try to, you know, um, blending those, uh, um, like a rubbing line. And then again, glossy paper, photo paper. 
Okay, um, you're going to just put on top, do your best because we're going to trim it anyway. And this is a big stamp, so we want if we want to do the layering, it kind of have to trim in some part. Okay, and rub, rub, rub. So this is the hardest, hardest part, and then the rest of them, the coloring is going to be just so easy. Okay, and then let's see. Okay, good enough. I think I need more ink, but a little bit here I didn't because it's a brand new stamp. I am going to use eraser to erase my surface. I'm going to do one more time. Okay, I have mentioned um, this before when you use a brand new stamp. Sometimes you're going, the first time you use uh, this brand new stamp, you're going to just use a cheap eraser, kind of erase the surface. So it, this, uh, per, the purpose of this erasing is just a kind of like a recondition your rubber stamp. And then it just make this stamp um, um, pick up the ink much better. You you can give it a try, and especially is the shadow stamp, okay? And then make sure your stays on is nice and juicy. You don't have to erase, erase this if it is a clear stamp. Clear stamp, if it work, it work. If it doesn't work, it doesn't matter if you um, erase or don't erase, it's not going to get any different. Okay, so let's try again. I'm going to make, uh, just uh, put on top. Okay, and just grab a piece of paper and make sure you rub anywhere. Okay, so this is the stay on and because we're going to rubbing the color on top, it's a good idea to have a stay on. And the rubber stamp is a rubber stamp. This is just a black image. If you, oh, you know what? We're going to try something else too. So this is just a, a video to show you the preview of these six brand new, new stamps. Okay, that's it. There you go. So much better after you um, erase the surface. And uh, one thing is very important, make sure your stays on have enough ink, okay? Okay, so that's one, uh, that's, uh, I'm gonna clean it and move on to the next step. Okay, so I have you. Uh, I have. I just used the stays on and I stamp out all my six brand new slim card size background. It is a stamp. It's not print. You know, sometimes people just uh, because uh, this is my original artwork, I can just print it. There, but I think that won't be a fair. So this is uh, all stamp by the stays on, and I did use uh, two different kind of card stock. One is the Costco Kirkland. Uh, photo paper. One is the paper uh, paper cuts dog glossy. I will provide the link below. So if you want to looking for the Mac cardstock or the dog glossy, you can find it from the paper cut or Marco's paper. And, uh, but just if you can, make sure you watch the tutorial 138 because in that tutorial I kind of explain everything. Um, it's good to know which paper is good for what. Okay, so the sling line card um, size background stamp is like, it's almost like 8.25 to approximately 8.25 by 8. Uh, by 325 or 340. So um, I kind of trimming a little bit smaller because I want to make like a perfect layering. That's to start with at least a core, um, core curl reef. Um, the, you can see on the right side, this one is the Kirkland's photo paper. On the left side is a dark glossy. One thing is very, very important. Before you start to coloring, you got to make sure this stays on is completely dry. If the stays on is not dry, when you're rubbing with your magic mushroom special, the light color mushroom is going to pick up the color and it's going to stain your mushroom and then that won't be um, it can't be clean anymore, okay? But it's not going to affect your, you know, your magic mushroom. It's just, uh, it's just uh, like, a, see this one's dirty, you can still see it's yellow, but you don't want the stays on stick on top. Okay, okay. so, and also I'm going to show you something else. So I'm going to just grab my, let's clean this one first. It's a bit dirty here. Let's grab that curl leaf background too. And, uh, I am going to just show you something, something else. 
Okay, I'm going to make a both size. I'm going to make a slim car size and also going to make an A2 size. If you want to extend in your car to um, different size, a point, uh, like a 5.5, uh, 5.25 or 6, you can do that just to extend it. Okay, so this one, let's see the package. You won't believe uh, how easy it is. So this is uh, the coil, uh, the coral reef, right? And I already did the black stays on, and let's see what it looks like. We have a little bit yellow, a little bit purple, a little bit blue, a little bit green, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit each. So I am going to just uh, grab a little bit yellow, a little bit green, a little bit blue, a little bit purple, and a little bit darker blue. I think let's change this one to the darker purple. Or a little bit magenta. Six. Okay. You can use, okay, remember if you want to stamp it on the dark glossy or the photo paper, you got to use die base impact. If you stamping on the regular cardstock, you can use a pigment. I like a die base because it's just dry fast, it's just dry fast, you know, so I don't have to worry about the smear or anything. So I'm gonna just show you how easy it is and some of them are probably just a, a just a fast forward and the remember your magic mushroom see my yellow magic mushroom is very dirty but is still yellow so that's the best part of this mushroom is you can clean and the check or combo uh, like a combo actually if you buy the all six you get an almost half price plus free shipping is a really good deal okay start with the lighter color and uh, we just uh, give a little bit dapping okay on the photo paper, Kirkland photo paper, when you dab, it's kind of pick it up. It's kind of like sticky, but on the dark glossy, you don't have to worry about it. So that's why I've been explaining to you on the uh, photo paper, don't try to rub it. Just give it a little bit of tapping. Okay, here and there. And the best part of our magic mushroom is you can, they will, the color will blend in um, together. So now I'm going to do a little bit orange. And I use the rubber necklace uh, color fuse. They are small impact, but they have a 48 color and I really like it. And then, like I say, or magic mushroom is awesome because when you hit hard, they get darker color. When you release a little bit pressure, it become lighter color. And then see how easy this. And you see it, I don't, you know, I don't finish my, um, my paper with the computer. Anything I see is, uh, anything you see is exactly the way I um, did my layout. So that's my orange and uh, that's do a little bit magenta, I mean, I mean pink, fuchsia, my favorite flowers. See, I don't really clean my magic mushroom, okay? The only difference with this paper is that they will kind of, you know, it kind of sticky, okay? Like this. Isn't that pretty? It's just, just, just like that. Okay, and uh, and then I'm not editing this uh, uh, video, so you can see that's exactly how it how it works. You know, there's a lot of uh, blending tool on the market. There's a brush tip. There's a um, kind of felt tip. So. But I think uh, this magic mushroom is just a, a really, really awesome tool that I think is worth um, the money to invest. Okay, so let's do a little bit um, blue. Isn't that pretty? Okay, let's do a little bit blue here. Okay. Okay, once when you put all the color on top, that's it. You cannot add more color on top. They will not uh, getting darker. They kind of like a seal the surface unless you use like a very, very, very dark color. Okay, so let's do these. Okay, and then, you know, because the way this uh, um, um, sponge area, they actually create a new color. I don't even want to use this purple because of when my blue meet that fuchsia color, they actually create a beautiful purple already. Voila. 
See how pretty these. And then I'm going to mount it, just to put a little sea turtle on top. And I'm going to show you the both sides. Okay, before I move on to the next one, I'm going to show you something. I am going to just use these uh, four or uh, six, six colors that I use. Okay, so always uh, do light, medium, dark. That's the 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 order. Okay, uh, I'm going to I'm going to have a piece of paper ready here. I am going to just uh, rubbing a little bit orange, and always remember start with a lighter color because the darker color will pick up some lighter color, but it's not going to ruin your. Um, your impact, but if you did the uh, darker color and uh, use your lighter color, it's going to ruin your lighter impact. Okay, so just uh, be careful that. Okay, and the blue, and that's do a little bit magenta, gently, kind of like a tap, 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 tap. Okay, and then I have no idea what this one look like. If you want to use the uh, regular car stock, it's a good idea to use the uh, uh, stamp positioner because that uh, one coat is not going to um, get a full image compared on the glossy. So I kind of have some mark here. I don't really like that square mark. mark. So I'm going to just use my pink, kind of um, just a hiding that stroke but if your pink pick up some color just kind of wipe over the surface try to avoid to use the you are like a bright color but the like these two is it's okay okay so we're going to do again see the way i stamp put on top and i need a piece of paper to give some massage and let's grab the piece of paper here okay. so the dog glossy or the matte silk glossy. Um, we do carry some, but you know what? The paper just shipping is just too expensive. Um, you can purchase it from the Marcos or paper card. Just use your search window, typing local King Rubber Stand, um, the paper that local King Rubber Stand use. They should pop out the paper that I'm using. And uh, so give some a search. They love that. And I have no idea what it look like. Every time is a surprise for me too. That's what it look like. Okay, see, it's completely different uh, with the. Uh, what well, actually? <laughs> I kind of like it. Those uh, little square is kind of make it look uh, like kind of Japanese uh, kimono pattern, and then see. What's the different? Exactly the same stamp, different kind of um, different kind of coloring. It turned out something different. And then let's just do one more. And uh, I actually have my ink pack here. Oh, you know what? Let's try the blue. Let's try. Do I have a light blue? Yeah, I do. Okay. So this time I actually have my brayer here. Isn't that interesting? You know, rubber stamp, just uh, one stamp. And then look how many different kind of possibility. So I have at least a Kaleidos color. Uh, it's called Blue Breeze. If you're looking for this impact, check Amazon. I don't have it. Actually, I will provide the, the website. You can purchase directly from Zucchini Co's uh, website. I think it's $12.99. Okay, so that's do. Because they have kind of like have a section, right? So let's just do this. You can try the horizontal or you can try the vertical. So this impact is like a light to the dark. So when I apply my ink on the bottom is light, on the top is dark. Okay, let's see what's it look like. So, so far, what do you think? Do you like the black stays on background or let's see what this one look like. See, so this is just a few of the technique uh, that I'm showing it and I'm going to show actually more if you're not tired, like if you're boring of this video. Like I say, if you feel too much information, clear, push the fast forward button. You don't um, need to see all if you don't want to. Wow, look at that. Really 
like an undersea world looking. So that's just an example of the three. And you know what? Try embossing, try all different kinds of stuff. You never know uh, what's look like. I think just the background, it looks awesome already. What do you think? Leave me a comment, let me know. And let's uh, move on to the next. Okay, so let's move to the, the next uh, background stamp. It's called the Space. Look, my uh, last tutorial, I was using the same background to create uh, um, this beautiful, I don't know, uh, net looking. Okay, and then um, this is a sling car size, this is a A2 size, and then let's see what, how can I get this space looking. So same thing, the stays on and make sure it's completely dry. And then I am going to, let's just see, I think this is okay, I don't have to clean it. Okay, so I'm going to start tapping here, a little bit here. Oh, you know what, actually, do you, I'm going to try the different color. So two one let's try like a red reddish one is like a blue so that way you can see the different and then this is uh, this is uh, this is they both are the dark glossy so let's try this uh, orange first and uh, i'm going to try this kind of space okay i have a little bit of fingerprint over there so remember when you tap hard, they become darker. When you release a little bit pressure, they become lighter. Okay, that's a, a lot of blending tool they cannot do because they have to keep them brushing it, right? So this and then did I do this a green, green and a purple? Okay. So you can see, I kind of like a tapping. I didn't kind of um, rubbing, like a drawing a circle. I find out this uh, tapping is uh, working better on the glossy car stock. If it's on the regular car stock, rubbing, you can get a more color, you can get a more color on top. So look how pretty it is, okay? So I'm going to just, and then, um, Let's see, let's show you something. Okay, see these two part. I use this green and this blue, but when the two color blending together, they actually create a new green. So that's awesome because, uh, you know, you use a few color, they actually create too many different color, kind of color. And every time you do it, it's kind of surprise. You never know what's going to turn out. So that's, something i really enjoy to do i didn't even use this darker color so i'm going to just uh, and a bit gentle okay so always start with a little bit if it's not enough we add a we add all we add more okay so that's my first one look that and then second one i'm going to make it like a more reddish color so i'm going to have a orange uh, red in the brown and uh, what else what else like kind of like the same color how's that okay remember try to start with a lighter color so i think this one is okay well it's a good idea if you clean it but this is a light color so remember you have to use a lighter color first and the darker color so now i'm going to use orange Okay, so you will feel it when you like a bouncing this uh, magic mushroom. You can feel it. You see here, it blending new color. Isn't that awesome? And then there's other way to do it. Next time, I'm going to try to use a white embossing and gold embossing. It's, it's, you know what? It's just endless. There are just too many different ways to do I am going to just use a uh, um, kind of reddish color to show you different. Okay, so like this. And here, I just want to gently tap. I don't want to kind of feed it out all the pink. Just give a little bit color. So that's what this look like. What do you think? It's not awesome, fast and easy. And uh, these are both the dark glossy paper. And then see what's the difference. Is that they are done by the same 
Robert's the end, and then it just looks something completely different. Okay, so let's move to the next one. And uh, for, I'm going to just use this wood grain. I think that will be awesome technique. I'm going to use this wood grain. Okay, so that's the wood grain. And then I'm going to do a little bit different. So what you can do is you can use the, um, you can watch the tutorial 139. In 139, I was showing people how to do, how to use the background and it was a stencil. So I have a little thing holds a spider, they call shutter, shutter, shutter. I thought it's a spider, but that doesn't matter. It kind of like a spider. So you are going to just, uh, it's a little bit smaller, but that's okay. So I am going to tape it just in case and make sure they are not moving while I am doing this. Uh, so that's uh, why there's too many different ways to do it. And uh, I think this is just so much fun. Okay, so spider web, let's do this tree color. Okay, yellow again, not yellow, I mean the kind of like a dark orange. Okay, and then going to do this. And I see I didn't even clean my my sponge. Okay, I think I need the one orange. Let's use this pumpkin and I'm going to use orange. This is just awesome. And then make sure you take advantage of this uh, Magic Marshall. Once when we sold out, we are not going to reorder that because uh, we was order this one for the show and all the show is uh, we are not able to traveling and I'm kind of retired. Don't think so. I'm going to do a show anymore. Maybe just a few show for fun. And uh, so, but it's a great tool. I have uh, some customer, they order four set because they are so worried. Later on, they won't be able to get these anymore. Okay, let's see what this one look like. See, this is just awesome. And save my tape. Voila. Okay, and then on the top and the bottom, what are we gonna do? So we're going to just feed it out the color so because the, 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 the standard stencil is too small. I cannot make it bigger. You can do two times, but I'm going to just, uh, okay. I don't think so. You need to do anything on top. I'm going to just uh, try to find something I can put on top. Okay. So one more without the stencil. So we're going to use the same color. I'm going to just clean this one later. Or you can try the different color. I'm going to just uh, kind of create. Okay, so now I think my uh, magic mushroom, this one, it doesn't, like, a, it's not a clean yellow anymore. So just a squeeze, 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 squeeze. Okay, if your mushroom is too dry, spray a little bit of uh, water on top. A little bit moisture, they work better. So after you squeeze, squeeze, just grab a piece, I mean like a dry towel, kind of absorb all the moisture. And as soon as when you apply the on your scrap paper, there's no color, that means they are ready to go. So again, I'm going to do just tapping light color. It can be easier than this, isn't it? But the, the re result is just amazing. And then you can use actually embossing folder. You can use embossing folder to run through the machine and create some texture too. So this is how I color all my printing paper. They look exactly the same. They are not done by the computer. So because the, they really look different. It actually looks better when it's real print. And then see how pretty it is. Okay, so that's uh, the other one. And then I am going to do all oh, this one, this one, this one, this one, and this, the leaf, that's, this is actually my favorite. On the right side is a Costco's uh, um, photo paper. On the left side is dull glossy. And uh, I am going to, I really like that spider. 
Let me see. I have a. Let's try. Let's try this green. So probably we have to do two times because uh, this uh, stencil is only six by six, a little bit too small, right? So that's okay. So we're going to just always tip it, make sure they don't move. And green, my favorite color. So I'm gonna just use this one because they have too many different kind of green. And I'm going to clean my magic mushroom first because I want to have a, a very, very light green for a star. And then squeeze the, all the ink. And then testing it, good enough. If you want to completely clean, you can um, just uh, kind of clean a little bit more. Let's see if I have a light green. I want to use this uh, fern, very, very light. Okay, and then I'm going to start it and then just uh, kind of pounding here. Okay, and then here. And then here, just a tap thing. It's just like that. Just just this easy make sure that corner okay and I'm gonna move it if you want to add a little bit blue you can do that too Ooh, isn't that pretty and then try to line out continue the um, pattern I'm going to show you something else if you want to go back to the lighter color it's better you clean your magic mushroom, but I'm too lazy. I'm going to just go all the way to do that. I'm going to just give a little bit purple. Find like a light to the dark. Okay, so the darker color doesn't really show, but uh, you get it easy, you get idea, right? But it's more, so clean this one is so easy. You just uh, use uh, white cloth kind of rubbing it okay and then I'm going to grab my yellow I'm not going to even clean my yellow just uh, give it a little bit touch out that between that pattern what do you think is that pretty okay and uh, one more the green so this one I'm going to grab the okay so this one, how to do that is I start with yellow. Okay, so this is a Costco's uh, photo paper. How did I know? Because when I do these, you can see they actually pick up the paper because it's kind of sticky. So it's good. See, my, um, this uh, mushroom is dirty because I want to have a light green. Okay, clean. Dry with a dry towel. There you go. And then I'm going to use this light green. Okay. Just uh, kind of tapping different direction. And I'm going to add a little bit blue, 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 blue here. Okay, like this. So remember, photo paper is the, uh, um, not all the photo paper you can stamping on top. Um, this photo paper, it work because I've been trying all the different kinds of uh, photo paper, so beware with that. Don't buy the photo paper and it doesn't work and come um, Say these are it doesn't work. Okay, they are different. See and then here I found this green a little bit too much I actually kind of softing it and the way I uh, this the uh, mushroom design you can Do that Look How pretty is this? Okay, these and these, exactly like uh, the the paper that I'm printing on my package. Okay, so I think that's uh, pretty much about uh, about that. And then the rope, yeah, want to see the rope? If you don't want to see the rope, just fast forward it. 
I am going to do a, a robe because yesterday the this tutorial it was using the lighter color. So the robe, this robe is actually one of my favorite. Um, I like the earth tone color. So very simple, two color plus a little bit brown or red. I think a yellow. Yes. Uh, yeah, because they can be blending together, right? So I think this tree will do. Okay, I see the yellow. Yellow is good. Okay. See, I've been using my impact a lot. If you just follow the in, uh, you know, inst uh, instruction, they will last for a long time. See my impact, uh, they are still light color. It's still very, very light color. Okay, so that's my first color. And then you got to touch this uh, magic mushroom. It's so soft. Okay, so this is the uh, um, photo paper, I mean the Costco photo paper. So it's kind of sticky. Like I say, you got to feel it. When you tap hard, you get a darker color. When you release a little bit on um, pressure, is a lighter color okay do you need a skill for this absolutely not but don't tell your friend always tell your friend take two hours and make it a birthday card and then see how pretty this one okay so this one is kind of more like a, like a sand color this one kind of just do a little bit brown i think if you add a little bit green it also looks cool too um things is not take too long Let's take a look. Uh, let's see what color we should try. Let's try the blue. You never know, right? So blue, and this is dark glassy because uh, see when you pounding it, they don't pick up the uh, they don't pick up the paper. Okay, and then you know what? You can try the white embossing, gold embossing, and uh, all the different kind of technique. And I will show you slowly, slowly uh, from inside my uh, from my tutorial, my YouTube channel. Just uh, make sure you keep watching and uh, a lot of, ooh, <laughs> see? I designed my own stamp and you probably already see the process of uh, designing every single stamp, right? And then I'm still amazing. This is, the, um, this is uh, just the first few times I am trying and see how pretty is that? So last one is that some like a stretch one. So I'm going to just uh, do a quick uh, stencil. How's that? Let's grab one stencil. And I'm going to put all, hey, let's try this one. I think that looks nice too. Okay. That will be looks awesome. Okay, so because the stands are a little bit smaller, make sure I put uh, in the middle and uh, let's just do that. I'm going to use the, like a sunrise color. Mm, let's just do, I need the orange, orange, orange. Orange. Okay, I'm gonna just use this orange. Okay, and then I use my orange mushroom. Mushroom. Okay, and I'm going to start from here. Okay, I'm going to start from the bottom. Okay, and then I just use this one, and then get a little bit darker, and then a little bit more darker. And then red. Okay, pounding it, don't brush it because you brush it, sometimes you actually push your stencil away and uh, that kind of ruining it. Ooh, this is, uh, let me see what it looks like. Whew, that looks nice. Let me see if I can, just uh, if I move it. Uh, oh, let me see. Oh, that doesn't work that way. It actually, it does. So, not going to fit perfectly. 
No. Okay, you know what? Why don't we just shift a little bit and I'm going to use the light color. This is a play time, you know. That's the fun part of that because you never know what's turned out. So I'm kind of just uh, give a little bit space and then add this yellow. I think that's nice. Okay, and then the rest of them, I kind of just uh, fit it out the gap. It's just an idea. You don't have to like it. But uh, what I'm trying to do is, uh, you know, you give a try and uh, sometime something amazing happen. Ooh, see, I forgot to change my magic mushroom, but that's okay. I'm going to show you how to clean. So this uh, magic mushroom is a heavy duty. You can abuse them. They actually work well. And then I want to just show you. So on the back, I kind of want to, you know, darken those lines to make it look like a pss. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, my... Okay, it's a little bit hard. Like I say, once the, when the color, you know, they seal the first color, it's really hard to add more. So that's a, what we can do. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so here is how I'm going to clean or yellow mushroom. I'm going to just show you. I really mean what I say. So you can clean. Okay, so let's just use this one. This is my yellow magic mushroom and it's not the yellow anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the, a wet cloth. Okay, kind of change the spa. I use the yellow most of the time. I've been using these, you can see how often I use. Okay, and then you kind of just, uh, but your cloth have to be kind of clean too. Kind of absorb the, all the surface. Okay, and then you're going to use a white, not white, the dry. Okay, watch the magic happen. Okay, and then I'm going to get a or a yellow. There you go. So don't be afraid to um, see. I was accidentally put my yellow mushroom in the darker color, and I don't worry about it at all because you can clean with the uh, water. But the only one thing I cannot um, reverse is is if your foundation, I mean, if your stay on is not dry and then you're using your magic mushroom on the stay on because the stay on is a permanent impact. Even though you use the permanent cleaner, they won't come off. So they are going to stain your magic mushroom and the police don't do that. I am just here, want to make it clear because uh, I don't want you to damage your, your magic mushroom and uh, we are not selling the individual mushroom if you are picky. It will still work, it's just uh, um, the color is just uh, going to... Maybe they will create some kind of like a stroke or something. Okay, so that, let me, give me a second, let me put everything together. Okay, so this is uh, the review for the, all the six brand new slim line car size background stamp. And uh, I hope you like it. This is just one of the, you know, the way to do it. I just want to show you how easy to color then. And then um, you can also make a regular car size. So what I do is I just uh, cut uh, this uh, car in the half and uh, put a little bit tape so you can create the A2 size too. Um, that's, I think it's just awesome, right? So even though you have like A2 size stamp, but you want to create a slim line car, same thing, 
just extend it and then you are able to do that too so i hope you like it i was planning to finish the car but i think it's going to make this video too long but uh, i will use the uh, those cards i created today in my uh, future uh, uh, video so make sure you subscribe to local kings youtube channel you don't want to miss it so there is a few of our brand new um design and uh, just make sure you check our dvd library and then you can see all the awesome sample car and the video okay so thank you for watching this is lisa from local king robert stan and uh, see you next time i'm pretty soon okie dokie goodbye